Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 out today. We got some Guild War for you guys. A lot of you have been requesting for some Guild War content. And you know what? I think it's about time we brought it back to the channel. We'll pilot a few episodes and see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, we get to use a bunch of heroes that we normally wouldn't be able to in RTA because they have more of a Guild War or Arena based niche, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, for those longtime viewers, I'm sure you guys have missed uh, the Guild War joke of the day, which is still going on every Guild War um, in my guild, so let's go ahead and see what today's joke is. Uh, Icarus saying, I'm reading a horror book in Braille. Something bad is going to happen. <laughs> I can just feel it. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Uh. Love it. Love these jokes. Alright, let's go on and jump into some Guild War battles. Now, I don't really have any time to do fancy editing and shenanigans, but I can teach you how to fight some very common defense teams. And of course, we'll be showcasing some funny things from time to time. Uh, in that top team right here, we're going up against Senya and Meru and Laika, which means that Lionheart is probably your best friend here. Uh, who haven't been able to use Lionheart very often in RTA lately, but she shines almost every single day in Guild War. Uh, for the second team here, we're fighting against Aiden and Winter. It's kind of a weird team. You don't normally see Winter on a defense, but uh, we're going to use Senya as bait for the Winter. Zahawk is likely going first, taking out the Aiden, and then we'll use Milam to unstealth the Winter and then uh, take her out. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull this off, shall we? Now the top team here, um, you can you don't have to use Lionheart Sermia. I was actually kind of thinking about using something like Milum in this top team as well. But I figured she'd be better suited for the bottom team to de-stealth that winter. Um, you can use a lot of units here that work, like any fire unit works pretty well into this team too. Like potentially Ed, he could work as well. Alright, let's hit the Meru though. Uh, do I need to heal? I don't think so. But there is a Meru that's going to be attacking. You know what? Let, let's go for this. It's fine. Alright, Meru's going to give herself the attack buff. She is quite bulky, 12k HP. Um, but the key to this fight is definitely not Lionheart necessarily, but the Rowana and the Pylos here. Rowana and Pylos are both fantastic for... Uh, this type of fight where you're gonna get countered, right, as you can see here, and Pylos reduces the damage that you take from counters, from duels, and things like that, and Rowana helps you heal, so it's kind of a self-sustaining team. We got, uh, we got provoked though by the Senya. This guy has a bit of effectiveness, which means, usually, if they're built on effectiveness, they don't have too much, uh, effect resistance, as you can see the pilot's going ahead and taking out that Senya's, uh, counter buff, which, it's good and bad. I would have liked to have it so that I could use it against my opponent, uh, but, yeah, that's okay. Like, by use it against my opponent, I mean you can use Rowana to attack um, the Senya when she has a counter buff, and you can actually heal your team. So let's go ahead and pop Rowana's S3. Pylos is going to be attacking the Senya. We're fine because we have the revive buff. Oh, nice. Very nice. The Meru is going to be proccing our Lionheart again. And again, you see, this team was never in any danger of falling, right? It's a very consistent team into these types of, you know, counter-based, um, dual attack-based, uh, units. Alright, so there we go, Lionheart finishing things off quite quickly. Alright, let's hop into the second one here. We got, uh, ooh, that's a fast winter, wait a minute, did he go for my Zahawk? If he went for Zahawk, I think I'm screwed. Oh no, good. Oh, he went for Senya. Now, Unfortunately, Senya actually did get crit there, so she gets stunned. That was really bad because uh, <laughs> my Zahawk, I think I was like 2% uh, behind this Winter. They should have figured that Winter would be a bit faster than me, but that's okay. Let's go for the um, buff on Milam, I would say. Hopefully. Oh, this Winter is on Swordstorm, so we gotta watch out for that. Okay, let's go into this Aiden. Hopefully we get to kill, because we need that attack buff here. 
We're on portrait, so we should be dealing extra damage. Ooh! We were not able to kill here. Is Aiden going into the Senya? She should. There we go. Very nice. And she's going to actually finish herself off on that Senya. Uh, I am going to pop my S3 because I don't want the... Actually, is he going to be... No, he's not, right? My opponent is not going to be um, attacking anyone except Senya. So poor Senya here was the earth bait. Uh, I was trying to get somebody who could either resist the stun for winter or could have a chance to not get crit. Senya was the best pick here. Uh, she gets crit yet again, <laughs> so down she goes. All right, all right. Uh, let us go for the... Oh, well, hopefully... Okay, good. Milam does take the next turn. Now, my Milam is on destruction set. Hopefully, she'll be able to take out this winter in one go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Almost 19k damage. Very, very nice. Uh, let's go for the S1 here. And we'll let Milam do the rest. Oh, wait, no, we don't have a Wahaha, so that's okay. Let's go ahead and just do this. And we'll finish things off with a quick little S3. Actually, no, let's finish things off with a Soul Burn. Oh, 17k damage with a Soul Burn. Good job, Zaha. So, yeah, Winter, kind of a weird unit to see on defense, but as you can see, if you're not prepared, uh, things could go south pretty quick. I got really lucky here in that uh, she didn't actually go for my Zaha. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into our second fight here. We're trying to attack all the main towers. Uh, that gets us the most number of points. So let's uh, tackle this team here. I've already prepared my team set up in it. Yeah, that's right. You see it. You see it. We have Arunka in our top team. We're replacing the Lionheart with Arunka. Lionheart is fantastic into this first team up here. Because uh, you can't get reset by Lua, right? But I thought, you know what? <laughs> I have Arunka built. I built her uh, a couple days ago, so why not give her a go? So Arunka's in the top team. She should be okay into Shu and Senya theoretically, but we'll see how that actually holds up. Uh, for the bottom team here, we're going up against A Ravi and Aiden, which is a little, a little um, iffy, but as in like I can get destroyed at any moment here but I have a light bait in the form of Doris who's gonna be tanking the A-Ravi and my uh, Briarwitch and Zahawk should be able to take care of the Aiden Briarwitch also doubling as a defense breaker to help take out that A-Ravi faster so let's go ahead and jump in see what we can do now Zahawk is gonna be uh, essential here for cleansing my Briarwitch Okay, but that's gonna be the second fight. Lua not being able to strip the Pylus is pretty good. Ooh, actually, she wasn't able to reset anybody. Pylus and my Rowana are really high resist, but I'm kind of surprised that Arunka was uh, able to resist as well. Probably just 15%. Alright, let's see here. We got the Provokes coming in. No, we resisted again. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I will take it. I'll definitely take it. Now, this, right, increases the attack of my Arunka, and she um, does extra damage when my opponent has a barrier. I kind of want to trigger that barrier. We're going to try to get rid of the uh, Lua first. Oh, she, uh, she countered there. All right, we're going to try to trigger a barrier here. So let me go for this so that the Senya counters. Or I guess the Shu's also going to counter. Right, there we go. Triggering the barriers. Now we can do extra damage. Don't expect much because um, <laughs> I've tested Aruka extensively in Arena and it is not um, it is not really li she's not really living up to my expectations, let's say. Alright, at least we got rid of the anti-crit buff. Not that it really matters with Arunka. Okay, Lula's, everyone's going to be attacking pilots here, which is going to be kind of bad because she's getting quite low. But that means... Oh, wait, hang on. The Shu no longer has her um, thing. You know what? Let's take out the Lua. Let's take out the Lua here. Let's give myself an attack buff. There we go. Oh, Runka's animation is so beautiful. I love it. But look, only 7,000 damage, and that's with an attack buff, too. Quite sad. Quite sad. But let's go for Rowana's healing. Let's get Pylus topped off here as much as we can. 
Okay, and I'm going to go for another hit onto the Senyo, we're trying to strip her speed buff, there we go. Uh, I can go for an extra attack here. I think I'll go for the shoe, so we're going to hit the second time. That's not bad, right? The damage isn't too shabby. When there's damage mitigation and stuff, it's going to be quite... not quite as good. But the shoe's, uh, shoe's getting... the bleeds are getting rid of the barrier, <laughs> Bylas is getting rid of the barrier, everyone's getting rid of the barriers, but it's okay. Hopefully, Alunka will be able to uh, finish off the shoe here. Pop an arrest 3. Should be taking the next turn. We don't care if we crit or not. That's at least the good thing about uh, Arunka. And yeah, my units are. <laughs> my Rowana and Pilots are both on counter, so they've been doing quite a bit of work here. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Extra hit onto the Senya. Alright, let's go for a strip. Nope, no strip there. Let's put a berry on the pilot. Help her out there. Okay. Uh, I am gonna go for just an S1. Don't think I need to go for the... Oh, nice. I didn't have to soul burn to get the extra attack. Very nice. Yeah, so Arunga actually does have a place in Guild Wars. Uh, you can use her. She's pretty good into Shu and to Senya because of the anti-crit buffs and stuff, right? She doesn't really care about them, um, which, makes them which makes her a really good asset into this team. Alright, well, we're gonna go to strip. Nice. We got rid of the counter buff. Put a barrier onto Pylos here. Can we get defense buff? Very, very nice. We needed that defense buff. Get rid of the speed buff there. Now, Arunka is. Uh... Arunka is actually not gonna be able to finish off the Senya. I think my Pylos will be able to do it. Oh, whoa, hang on, hang on just a second, that's a Holy Sacrifice Senya! I was wondering why we weren't getting chipped down with the Spear of a New Dawn, but hey, wait a minute, this is, this is Arunka's time to sh- No! <laughs> Pylos, my Pylos is absolutely insane. She does this every guild where she counters all the time, but she got rid of the barrier. Luckily, Senya had a proc in there. And we're able to go for this. Let's see how much damage we do against the Senya uh, when she has a barrier. Okay, 13,000 damage. Pretty respectable. Not the worst. But, yeah, still not the best thing ever, right? Now, given Maya Runka is not on an attack ring, she's on an HP ring. She only has about 5,000 attack, which isn't very good. But it is what I have, and gotta work with what I got. Okay, what we're gonna do is this. The Aiden's gonna be attacking the Briar Witch, which is gonna kinda suck, but let's go for the cleanse. Let's hopefully be able to finish off this Aiden. Right? I know she has the bigger buff, but she doesn't have barrier. Oh, very nice. That's a squishy Aiden. So down she goes, and now I don't really have to worry about anything because this A Robbie will always go for my Doris. Let's use Doris to heal up, and let's just uh, pop Briar, which is S3, see if we can defense break that Ravi. If we can, it'll be fantastic. Oh, yes. Okay, very, very nice. And Briar, which went into Guiding Light as well. So look at this. Uh, a Ravi has a buff here, right? Even though we had stripped with Briar, which this is un-unstrippable. Uh, We're gonna soul burn with Zahak. Let's see if we can actually one-shot this Arabi. Oh, 31,000 damage! That is a big rip right there. And yeah, this C. Lilius is actually on um, Proof of Valor, surprisingly. Not typically an artifact that you see on her. But let's go ahead and uh, finish things off with Zahak. Oh, Briarwitch wants to join in on that action, though. Very, very nice. Good synergy between the two, right? Not too shabby. So that's a second tower down. Okay, so for our last fight here, we're going to be attacking this bottom tower. And I've prepared a kind of risky team here. Now, the first team... I feel like going for an Ed solo, so we're gonna put Ed in here, and we're gonna see what he can do. I don't know how he's gonna fare against the Aiden, uh, but you know what? Should be fine, right? Should be fine. Uh, the second team, we're just gonna use our rat against their rat, 
and we're gonna see what happens. Mostly because there's a K-Ron here. I was thinking about going Karina, but I feel like if I get defense broken by this Lua, then things won't go too well. So yeah, let's just jump in and see how this goes, shall we? Now this first team could be a complete and utter disaster, mostly because the fact that Aiden is uh, gonna hit like a truck, and I don't really have anything to stop that from happening. Now Troublemaker Crozet is gonna be soaking the hit up, but we'll see what uh, what damage we can do with Ed. Uh, so I am going to... Ooh, wow, we are defense broken, aren't we? Let's go for an S3 onto this. See if we can hit the Ron. Ooh, we hit the Ron! That's actually quite good. Very nice. Finishing him off. Aiden's going to be hitting that Ed here. Which is going to hurt. Or not, not Ed. Uh, Troublemaker Crozet, but we're on Holy Sacrifice. Uh, Troublemaker Crozet also on, um, he's also on, uh, whatchamacallit, no, well, he's on Holy Sacrifice, but we also have Ruel, who can revive him. That's what I meant to say. We have double revives going on here. I'm gonna give the attack buff to the, um, or sorry, the defense buff, ooh. I don't really want to cleanse Ed right now. Do I hold off on it? I could potentially hold off on it. Yeah, well, let's hold off on it. Let's just go for this. Um, because Ruel could revive. Right? This might be a mistake. Alright, there we go. Equivalent exchange coming out. I just wanted Ed to be able to hit. Uh, ooh, actually, this is looking pretty bad with the turn cycling and everything that's going on. Alright, at least we crit the Senya. Down goes Troublemaker Crozet, and now the Senya is going after my Ruel, which is not really what I wanted to happen. Okay, but let's go ahead and revive the Troublemaker Crozet, so he can uh, he can hopefully tank for us here. And I'm gonna put the defense and anti crit buff up on the Ruel, so she doesn't go down. So let's do that. There we go. Uh, let's push up the Ruel here. Let's give us a defense buff to work with. There we go, very nice. And I'm gonna heal herself up. Just keep her nice and healthy, just in case something happens. Yeah, see? <laughs> just in case something happens here. Okay, uh, I think we could potentially go for... No, 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 let's just finish off the Senya here. Nice, we've been critting her, which is pretty good. Ooh, nice, we got the stun as well. Really can't ask for much more here. Alright, she will proc, but Ed is now okay and good to go. So let's go ahead and soul burn. And let's go into the Senya, try to finish her off. Oh wow, Ed has been critting the Senya over and over. Now it is time for Aiden to do her counter shenanigans. So that's a bit of damage. Did her hit? No. And now here comes the S3. Now's the part that we're kind of in trouble because I feel like this is a lifesteal, Aiden. Oh no, it's not. Okay, wait a minute. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. But she is going to hit like a truck. Ooh, Ed. Nice, we do crit her. And let's go for the Soul Burn. Let's see if we can make it. No, it's not going to hit. Oh, but we do do enough damage in the end. Very nice, Ed. That was that was kind of a pushing Ed to the limit there, but... <laughs> Thankfully, the unbuffable uh, on the Aiden's S1 landed. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. Don't copy that offensive team, by the way. That was not... A good team. This now is a team that you could potentially use, depending on your opponent's defense. Okay, so our rat is going to be counterattacking. Very nice. Actually, our Rowana is also going to be counterattacking. Now we we got reset, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the Kron. He's also going to counter apparently, and crit my rat, which is unfortunate. But we're going to proc his immortality. Hey, there we go. Uh, whenever you're facing Kron, you want to proc his immortality before he takes his first turn. Otherwise, he gets two chances to S3 you. Right? He gets to S3 by himself, and then he also gets to S3 um, when uh, when he gets his immortality proc. 
do I go for this? Um, I don't think I need the heal right now, so I'm just gonna hit this shoe. Okay, there we go, got defense buff, very nice, perfect timing. I'm gonna let the K-Ron uh, do his S3, it's not gonna do too much. And now we should be able to take him out. Shoe, my shoe hasn't s 3 yet, so we're gonna pop this. Give her the K-Ron. And now it's just my rat versus his rat. Now he's gonna counter me. Let's see if he crits. Ooh, no crit. That means no foosh. There we go. Doing his foosh on his own turn, which is fine by me. Let's try to provoke this Lua so she can't do shenanigans. And I'm gonna rip a heal here just to keep Pylus topped off because she's gonna be taking the shoe. Alright, we're gonna counter again. Yeah, Pylus is so good. I don't know what it is with Pylus on counter set, but Pylus is popping off way more than Shu or all the other units that I have on counter ever do. Okay, let's see if we can provoke. No provoke? That's okay. It's just Shu left, and I think my Shu has the upper hand. Or my Pylus, actually. Look at those counters. Alright, let's go for the S1. He's gonna counter me. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna foosh. Where's my foosh? Oh man, has my has my shoe foosh? Yeah, yeah, she did. She did. She did at the beginning onto the K-Ron, so I guess it's fair. I wanna see my shoe foosh though. Alright, uh, let's soul burn. Let's get another chance to foosh. Yeah, there you go, and not a perfect way to end things off, right? <laughs> it's a rat-eat-rat rat world. So, there you have it. Three matches of Guild War, hopefully showcasing some units that I don't typically get to in RTA. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Guild War content like this, let me know in the comments section down below. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.